The Benedictine nuns of St. Emma Monastery welcome you. This is our beautiful chapel dedicated to St. Walburga. The stained glass windows tell the story of a young woman by the name of Walburga. It was about the year 730 in England, and she was studying in a boarding school run by Benedictine nuns when she felt the call to leave all and to follow Christ as a Benedictine nun. Along with other nuns, she later left her homeland, her culture, and her language to follow her uncle, St. Boniface. They traveled to the missionary lands of Germany, where they established monasteries. About 300 years later in Bavaria, a man cured of an illness founded the Abbey of St. Walburga in Eichstätt. And now for nearly a thousand years, women have given their lives to Jesus as Benedictine nuns. In the early 1930s, there was a surge of vocations in Germany and our 40 founding sisters were among them. Just like Walburga, they experienced a further call to leave families, culture, language, and homeland to come to St. Vincent Arch Abbey and College, Detroit, Pennsylvania, where they worked and prayed until 1987. Already in 1943, the sisters bought the acreage near Greensburg and developed it into this beautiful monastic life and property that we experience today. In 1960, a teenage girl in Loretto, Pennsylvania heard the call of Jesus to leave all and to follow him as a Benedictine nun. My name is Mother Mary Ann. I am that blessed person, and I lived my whole monastic life here in St. Nemes. About 20 years ago, a young student at Pitt heard the voice of Christ in her heart to follow him as a religious. At that point, Sister Riohana was not even Catholic. Having entered the church through the RCIA program, Sister Maria Hanna began to visit convents. Finally, she came to make a personal retreat here and discovered that God was calling her to enter this monastery. And what about you? Do you feel the nudge in your heart to leave all to follow Christ? Do you feel Jesus speaking to you and asking you to give all to follow him? Have you tried unsuccessfully to put that crazy idea out of your mind? If our manner of monastic life touches your heart, we invite you to contact us and to visit us. Meantime, we hold you in our prayers. May God bless you.